transforming into a mind flayer might have its perks. At least then I could float over this ugh, muck. Muck, mm, darling. Not one for roughing it, I see. <laughs> Wallowing in filth is for pigs and children, my dear. Mm -hmm, my dear. Yes. Children and people with a little bit of grit. Yeah, Carlac, you tell him. Let's hope this Wait. doesn't Wait. backfire drastically. I am also curious if um, we encounter the monster hunter guy, if he will see Asterion for what he is. Well, I just, I tried to throw stuff on the vents, but I just basically face tanked everything. These boots have seen everything. No, don't go through it. <clears throat> I know Asterion can do that. Oh. Watch your back. Oh, jeez. Shall we? Oh. Ah. Well, whatever. I don't. Dang, stupid people! I am so angry. Like I, it's not even their fault. But like, I think I try to click on somebody else's thing, and I click once, and I look away. Like I start moving. What a day! And then they freaking like it doesn't work. You have to like click twice. So I. Can't so then they start it. following, and they're not supposed to, and it's like. Looks like a there in the cage. An ambush. Where? What? What? Oh, it's her. This the girl. But uh, ambush. What? I I I can't like it. Let they they're on light. Whatever. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. You come to my home. Interfere in my business and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks. She's unique looking, that's for sure. I'll rip your spine out your asshole. I'll use your blood to spice my skin. I believe her. I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. Okay, but now we're going over and the top. I'll bring you back. And do it all over again. Just get out of here, please. Ah, uh, who says that? That was really nice of her. On my way. Let's actually Active. do that. You want the girl so bad. Did she kill her? Oh, not yet. Okay, but I could try to put out the fire somehow? Holy cow, where did she go? She's like, no, leave me here after I freaking ice down her cage. Bloody clever clubs. Thank the gods. Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, was it was she supposed to look like the witch? I am I have no idea. Bye forever, pal. Did I just waste lay on hands? No, I think it was the bringing him back. Okay, I was like, I'm I'm going to be a furious. He's going to die though, probably. And when you come back, they can't they can't do anything. I'm like, why even give him a turn? Very nice. Deep down, unleashed, don't you? Oh, that was that was directed at. Oh my gosh. Mark it up. Okay. Wow. That you okay, can. Glad you hit the tree. Away with you. Oh, dang it. I thought she'd go further. She did not. No time to die. You 
must get up. Yeah, well, if only I could live. I, terrible things happened, I don't know. <laughs> but I remember things were not going well. It has been a long time. A long time. It's been about a week since I've played this particular save file. I've been playing with friends and stuff on others uh, modes and doing a lot better, honestly. <laughs> this has been a this has been a rough run, and if anybody's still watching this, I appreciate you because I did some really stupid stuff. Like, for instance, not realizing that the revive scroll could fully revive somebody. At the time, I did think back in the day that uh, if somebody fully died with like the skull on them and everything that I wouldn't be able to bring them back with the scroll. I don't know why I didn't just like quick save and try, but I didn't. And so I had to reload a couple times, or at least I thought I had to reload a couple times. But in retrospect, it's kind of dumb to think that the game would have like permadeath, like be so like, and have it be so out of reach that you need, or have it be so prevalent. You have to reload all the time. And in retrospect, it would have been really cool to see how, like, reviving Lazelle would have, like, how everybody would have reacted, and how Lazelle would have reacted, and... Because I'm sure letting yourself die wasn't something a ton of people did. But, uh, here we are. Also, at the time, I didn't have Withers, but also, I had, I think I had revive scrolls. I don't know, I probably don't have any anymore, because I use them all indiscriminately, like a maniac. I don't know what I'm doing, but I appreciate you for watching anyway. My save file says I need to redo some camp stuff because I know we were getting our butts whooped. And I just was like, there's nothing we can do. Um, yeah, we were getting our butts whooped by the hag. And so I was like, we need to sleep. Like, we need to rethink our plan here. For instance, I think I need to bring out Asterion more and not Will. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to see if I need to talk to everybody. We'll see. I won't. I won't make you suffer through all that if I have to redo stuff. I have something to offer. Find Flayer is born. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same. Metal. Apparently, that conversation. We must find my kind oh. and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as my that. My bad. My bad, Lisa. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. I have been avoiding that conversational thing because it's just a repeat of everything we've talked about. She told me, hey, you're not going to do a tentacle monster. I was like, yeah, 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 we've been through this already. Um, but there's apparently there was an approval option. Uh, I see you back there, <laughs> Mr. Ran. Um, but yes. Also, I'm like a paladin. I'm like, woohoo, let's go. Cheery, cheerio. <laughs> you're worried we haven't changed? This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. She's not Besides, wrong. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Also, I'm sorry if this is a repeat, but... I thought I'd throw that in there. Because so far it seems to be repeat stuff. Guy named Gortash. Oh! Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpole. Oh, you also may have noticed I graduated to having a taller bar. I just expanded it, expanded it over here. <laughs> Man, I'm sad to leave him behind. I like him. Need something? Darling, <laughs> I thought you'd never arrive. I actually, I, Lead on. I have seen a few really funny clips with Asterion, and oh my gosh, his voice actor? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just hilarious, some of the stuff that he says, and the animators did such a good job. I did read um, from one of the devs that apparently they did uh, hook everybody up, not just companions, but they hooked up all the NPCs, like people who voiced all the NPCs and stuff, they hooked them up to mocap stuff for face and body animation. Not like, nothing super, like super crazy, but just to give the animators something to animate better with. And uh, I was like, that's legit, because some of these clips of Asterion's like, gestures and like whole body language <laughs> and the voice acting that goes with it, so funny, so funny, so. 
I don't know if it's 100% a good idea, but I've sent my food supplies, as far as I can tell, to my camp. Because if nothing else, I can grab them really easily. But I felt like they were way, especially the, the pack, the satchel, was really weighing me down. Uh, I could be, you know, eating those words in a bit, or editing this out to make me not look like a total, complete moron. <laughs> Which, I look like too much, I know. I know, I do it too much. But I look like a moron too much, <laughs> rather. But I'm doing my best. Also, apparently, level 5 is actually a super big deal in Dungeons & Dragons, which, you know, I thought I knew a little bit about Dungeons & Dragons, but apparently I don't. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna maybe try... Actually, I totally got distracted from the alchemy thing, didn't I? I'm gonna try to level up to level 5 before I go fight the witch. Okay, I've spent, I've spent enough time doing inventory management that I'm actually not going to do... Uh, alchemy. Also, my phone is too far away for me to look anything up. And I tend to play offline on my desktop, so I can't look it up. <laughs> Yay, now I gotta figure out what we have to do. Oh, something I did, I did see, because I did look at, uh, an article popped up for me, and it was like, what? Um, like, oh, the cool things to do. Into a mine. Okay, we did hear that one already, but... My thing is, uh, I, I read an article about some things that you, like, don't miss things in, you know, Act 1, and I was like, clickbait, and I clicked it, you know, got baited into it. <laughs> um, but, no, most of it I was like, okay, I do know that, but there is one thing that I saw that I was like, <gasps> I need to try to rectify this as fast as possible. There are some things, apparently the bard lady, apparently she was in the grove, the, t the tiefling bard, apparently she was in the grove at some point. I didn't know that. I didn't see her, as far as I know. Apparently she was serenading some squirrels, which would have been hilarious. Um, and but apparently she's like a valuable, like like meaningful NPC person to start to get to know. Also missed out on Mole, which I did actually figure out how to. Co how I did contact Mole, in the Tiefling girl who was running that little crime gang. I contacted her in a different game of mine, but we did it where we got in without permission and she called the cops on us and it was that that whole save is actually really hilarious because we just kept like just face planting into every i almost got arrested like four times in a row like in the grove from the tieflings and i was like ah like, i didn't even mean to i was just like stumbling into things and like stuff was not working out it was so funny it was so funny but I'll have to show you guys um, some pictures of my characters that I've made. Uh, I'm quite proud of mine. I made, I made one with like Thrawn from Star Wars. I have mine that looks like me. She's a druid. Uh, I made a beautiful hat or a gnome. I made a beautiful gnome that I'm really proud of. Um, my axolotl. Very proud of that one. She's a cleric. Um, think that those are my oh you know no yeah I made a few others but they weren't as like oh I want to play these for sure I made Thrawn a um a ranger because I wasn't really sure what to pick for him Thrawn in the books is very intelligence based he's very he's very analytical and very very art he loves to analyze art and I was like maybe a wizard but that feels too much like a force user maybe which maybe a force user is more of a sorcerer honestly um, but I went with Ranger because I saw you could pick your, fo your, your foe or whatever, your, like, preferred foe, and there's one where you can pick a Druidic or Holy Order, and I was like, oh my gosh, because while Thrawn's whole thing isn't really necessarily hunting down Jedi, he does do that, <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta pick that one. Oh my gosh, I have to, I have to put the fire out again. This is when I need a water spell. Correct me. Did you just say, or, or an ice spell? Alright, perfect. Love it. Very well. I am concerned that we're going to get our teeth handed to us. Oh, now I can yoink all this stuff. 
Uh, Alright, did I already do that? I may have already done that. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Always room for more. I did not steal this stuff. Well, now is the time. What path lies before me? I feel like the um, red cap guys might come out and get us again. Um, but yes, yes, yes. Dang it, that's still there. That a toad teapot, an antidote. I want a toad teapot. Just stealing this lady's stuff before I've even actually killed her. No, I don't want to talk to Asterian. Also, I do. Oh my. I do want to know what happened to the hunter guy. Huh? What was that? What was that for? <gasps> Food? I must feed my children. A gilded mortar and pestle. Crystal ball? Someone did mention in the comments, actually. It was, I think it was Christopher mentioned that it would be nice, and this was a while ago, but I did see in the comments um, that he mentioned it would be cool to be able to put stuff around your bed. Like, I think he mentioned the ink pot and feather quill to like put around your bed, like your campfire, and I was like, I wonder if I can do that. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna pretend like I can, and I'm gonna pick up some stuff. Did I finish my thought earlier? I'm curious what happened to the monster hunter guy who was hunting Asterian. I'm also curious how to get over here. This is 100% a, a path. Maybe I have to go over there to do it? Okay, but first things first, this is a thing I need to do. I should have saved. I definitely should have saved. I definitely, definitely, definitely should have saved. I'm definitely in combat. Oh, yep, okay. <laughs> Better late than never. Oh, I did this intentionally, sort of. Um, not really, not really. I am tr I'm trying to be better about... I want to be better about using like explosives and stuff and lighting things on fire and all that. Doesn't surprise me. Get back there. The dance macabre. Um. Okay. That did some work. No, don't. Oh, that's an offhand melee. I don't want him to stand in the fire. Oh no, did I? Oh no, I didn't even. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna need to grease this. This entry- oh no, I- oh my gosh, I have doomed myself. No, I haven't. I have. I definitely have. I definitely have. There is a reason. You know what? I... I'm going to kill myself. Uh, <laughs> maybe can I? Uh, okay. Also, apparently there was like a tiefling child. Who is this person? Is that a goblin? Apparently there was a tiefling uh, child that we could have helped somewhere around out here that I didn't know about and never ended up finding. We should have come from underneath. Gall freaking dang it. Uh, I have to live with my decisions now. At least, you know, so far as... Me not dying, potentially. All right, I have thrown an illusion out. If the, I don't know if that'll help, but I am desperately just trying to run everybody out of here. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the goblin camp for something in particular, but I don't really want to go in through the front door because that's a stupid idea. <laughs> Um, especially because I'm, they're gonna, they're gonna fight me on sight, right? At this point. So, I am thinking we go to the Underdark. Just when I was getting used to 
into the sky again. Oh, come on, darling. Fear not, Karlak. Sun, moon, and stars will still be there, waiting for us. Meanwhile, this place is pretty spectacular, isn't it? No book or painting could ever do its strange beauty justice. But perhaps our stories might, when we return to the surface. So this is the travel through the Underdark route that I don't want to do yet. Um, like it's just bringing that up. Um, what I would want to do is like do the Night Song and the Masterwork weapon. Um, because you have to, in order, the scissor trees in the Underdark, I know that much. So. We would need to play around down here. It's like its own area. We wouldn't necessarily... I think there's a pop-up. Someone said that there is a pop-up that says, you're about to go to the the other area. Like, you're not leveled up for it yet. Like how we tried to go through the mountain pass and that happened to us, so... But that isn't our goal right now. Our goal is to use this as a means with which to sneak into the goblin base. I am going to save again on the off chance. I think when we pop out, I know we have to go through the the priestess's rooms at some point. And there is that really tough looking enemy in there. <laughs> this is, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh. Can we get him up here? I'm also going to get Will up here. That's or sorry, Will, Gale. Apparently also in one of the um, episodes I just did, um, I called Gale Anders. Which does not surprise me at all. Come over here. You can be over here, my guy. Ooh, I don't know. That might trigger combat. All right. What now? I think I will sneak up behind her. Better be cautious. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. No, no, I need the XP. This is this was very intentional. I definitely need the XP. What do you mean that? Oh, I see. No resistances. Oh, I think she did. Did she do? Did she do damage by stepping on me? Okay. 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 I could have done bear, but I wanted to do searing smite. This is a big enemy. I want to just get it. I want to. Make sure we take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Where do I go from here? I can't bless. Oh, I'm pro. I was prone, so uh, you know, getting up was very painful for me. Oh, buddy, we are, we are, we are doing it. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, oh my golly gosh. Oh my gosh, yes! I say as the two of us are like doing not so hot here. But we did it! Mm -hmm. 